the biggest challenge that I faced was the fact that uh, all the teaching and learning had to be transitioned online. How to provide education through a virtual format? One of the biggest challenges was not being able to provide patients with the care they needed on an ongoing basis. Overnight, everything seemed to shift, and I think trying to adapt um, to the changes day in and day out was by far the most challenging part of the pandemic. What kept me um, motivated or inspired uh, through this process was the fact that I was providing audiology related education to my students even through the toughest times. Being able to provide equal and equitable services to children um, in their home educational setting and acting in the best interest of kids at all times. We started to expand our service model. We, we did a lot more telehealth. We started doing curbside uh, service. We did some in-home appointments and we did drop off and pickups. And also quickly identifying, streamlining and implementing um, PPE, safety and infection control protocols. We masked up, we gowned up, and we showed up every day for our teams and for our patients. All right, so the biggest way I think I've been able to remain connected with all of you wonderful people out there um, has been through the online conferences and webinars and other informational Zoom sessions that we've been able to take part in together. By really investing time in my special interest groups, um, specifically for education and multicultural affairs, that's been great. And then there's a lot of great social media communities. The SIG13 community and by attending virtual conferences and connecting with SLPs, not just in my state, or in the country, but across countries. This has allowed us to share resources, exchange ideas, support each other. We joked, we cried, and we sought solutions to support one another. And we did this through social media, phone and text messaging, and also virtual weekly check-ins. Making that effort to stay connected was, I think, a tremendous help and um, the best way I got through this with all that support. One lesson that I've learned in 2020 is how to be more flexible. On a daily and even an hourly, a momentary basis. To just roll with the punches. In our field, we take pride in being committed to excellence and being able to manage and control things well. We get used to having our routines, we get used to things going really well, and then um, you hit a bump in the road and with the pandemic, it seemed like it was bump after bump after bump. Being more flexible has allowed me to embrace challenges, be more creative, think on my toes with problem solving, and all of those skills have made me a better professional. A flexible mindset led to embracing challenges, not as challenges ultimately, but as learning opportunities. I think the greatest lesson I've learned in 2020 is that it's okay to need somebody else. COVID-19 forced everyone to do more with limited time and resources. It forced us to innovate. It forced us to, forced us to work as teams. It underscored the importance of working smarter and harder and truly reminded me of the tremendous value we can bring to the table as SLPs with our creativity, resiliency, flexibility, and our ability to work effectively in a team. 2020 has been challenging in the fact that we've all had to learn how to do different things and new things. And I, I think a real silver lining is the connections that we've been able to build. Uh, we've met more during this pandemic than we ever have. And uh, we've really been forced to come together as a team. The unity, the support we share for one another is better than it's ever been. I learned that when I lean on others, we can all get through this together.